Off our coverage with our team of meteorologists, Angela Buckman and Sean Ash, both in tonight. And Angela, we're going to start with you so you can bring us up to date on what's the latest. Uh, Anne Marie and Felicia, the latest snow is starting to cause problems on the roads. Even a thin coating, those falling temperatures. This is uh, US 40 and 465. Might be more familiar with the Washington Street exit. You can see the flashing lights, several cars off to the side of the road, and slow traffic. This is just the beginning of what's going to be a long night and long day tomorrow as the snow continues to fall, the temperatures drop, and the winds start to pick up. Widespread three to six inch snow totals. That's what we're forecasting. Areas east and southeast of Indianapolis may see some higher totals in terms of where the snow is falling. Now this is live Doppler 13 radar. Some of the steadiest snow. Look for these areas of dark blue from Wabash to now into Marion, Elwood, Frankton, Tipton, Atlanta, Sharpsville, Kokomo. We go south along 31 into Boone County, into Marion County, where we do have snow in downtown Indianapolis. Snow into Southport, Greenwood, Bargersville, Martinsville, Bloomington, and back west. And a slightly larger view here in a second is going to show you this is just the beginning of this winter storm. Now you still have rain, Muncie, Newcastle, Richmond, Connorsville, Rushville, but that's going to change quickly for you over about the next hour. This developing winter storm brings the that potential for three to six inches of snow. Winds will start to increase with this storm as temperatures continue to fall. Future Track 13 shows us all in snow, maybe an inch an hour as we head into late this evening, and we're not going to be done with the snow until very early tomorrow morning. They're still going to be tracking it on sunrise, Sean, along with wind chills that may near 40 below. Yeah, we've got a rough, rough night, and we are starting to see these accidents uh, on the increase here. Uh, fascinating to watch, and I hope you're watching from home. I want to show you what's going on. This is 465 Washington Street on the west side. You can see the snow coming down. You can see the pole getting whipped around with the, the wind. Our desk tells me the east side of 465 is not bad because the colder air hasn't caught up over there just yet. Here's the I-65 Lafayette Road. We've been monitoring uh, Homeland Security here for you. So we're starting to get uh, some travel watches, and I suspect here probably bef well before midnight, uh, we're going to see these uh, ramp up and become warnings uh, based on the conditions. So I want to walk you through this graphic and just show you how busy things are going to be. So we're in the heavy snow and flash freeze phase right now. Heavy snow between now and about midnight. It becomes a light snow, but it's going to stay steady overnight tonight. We're going to get the gust of 30 to 40. We're going to have wide out conditions at times. The wind chills, as you talked about, will drop to about 30, 40 below tomorrow morning. We're going to stay harsh during the day on Friday. Temperatures never get much above zero and the snow will continue and it will continue into Christmas Eve. So again, we are just getting started. This is going to be highly impactful for uh, at minimum a couple of days. Buckle up and be a wild ride here this evening. All right, thanks so much, Sean. Yep. Our Karen Campbell's been out in it monitoring the road conditions. That's right, and um, I know that they couldn't really treat the roads beforehand, um, Karen, just because of the rain. The rain would have washed away all the pretreatment. So here they are trying to, in a sense, play catch up, but also take the storm as it comes. Where are you and what are you seeing out there now, Karen? Yeah, hey, Felicia, hey, and we are on uh, State Road 267, uh, just north of the Brownsburg area. Uh, one thing I want to mention, we, we made a stop at, at a gas station and just getting out of the car for a split second, running into the store. The wind, the word I can use to describe it, it insane, right? The wind is really starting to pick up here. And what it's doing is it's, it's blowing the snow over the road. So it's becoming challenging even to see, of course, at night, the lines in the road, right? So we've seen drivers take their time, uh, many using their hazard lights, uh, but they are taking this storm uh, seriously. They just want to get home or get to their destination. Uh, but, you know, these are some of the, uh, uh, the elements that uh, we, as well as other drivers, uh, are dealing with as uh, the temperatures begin to drop, as the winds begin to pick up. Uh, so, again, we are heading back towards uh, the Brownsburg area right now, but of course this is uh, the scene, you know, across central Indiana, across the state, as you heard uh, Angela and Sean uh, talk about. So again, deteriorating conditions across central Indiana, guys. 
All right, Karen, thanks for reporting live for us. Make sure you stay safe out there. We have John Duran, Northwest in Boone County, and we have Rachel Krause in Indianapolis. We really want to compare the different conditions that they're dealing with right now. Yeah, so let's actually start with John. Tell us what you're seeing and what's <laughs> happening out there as we shift from a wet rain to ice and snow. Yeah, Felicia, I'm sure you guys can see the, the, the snow hitting me in the face and it, it, it hurts. It stings. It's this dusty snow. It's uh, picked up a little bit uh, since we last talked to you guys, but you can't really tell if it's snow falling or it's some of this snow that's accumulated in this parking lot uh, blowing around. We're seeing a lot of that with these strong, gusty, freezing cold winds. We moved a little bit north in Lebanon from uh, where we were downtown last time we talked. This is State Road 39 behind us. We're just giving you an idea of uh, driving conditions out here. You can see that this snow that's flying around is making visibility uh, pretty tough. Uh, this is a posted 35 mile an hour road, pretty busy road, Lebanon Street. And uh, as you can see, people wisely going well uh, below that. We just took a little bit of a drive across town not too long ago, took it nice and easy, and it was still slick trying to stop. Uh, we're seeing plow snow plows out here, salt trucks really getting to work within the last hour or so. That's the happenings here in, in Boone County in Lebanon. I'll send it to uh, Rachel Kraus, who's taking a look at conditions in Indianapolis. Rachel. Thanks so much, John. Yeah, I'm here on in these east side just off of Shadeland near I-70, and we're seeing visibility really start to drop here just in the past 30 minutes or so that we've been out in the area. The wind has been picking up. That snow is definitely really starting to come down here on Indy's east side. Now, you can actually take a look. We're starting to see some of the snow really start to stick. Again, not too much has started to accumulate just yet, but it is starting to stick on the ground. Now, as for the roads, it's a little bit of a different story. You can see here on the roads, it is melting pretty quickly on impact, but drivers are going to need to really take it slow if they're on their way home. So far, it's not slowing businesses here in the area down at all. We're seeing a lot of folks coming out, getting gas, getting coffee, making a trip. So again, you want to give yourself plenty of time, plenty of space in cars. We're just seeing these conditions continue to, to worsen out here so far on the D.C. side. Back to you guys. All right, Rachel, thank you so much. And look at your screens, folks. You can see here travel advisories have been issued across the state. That's what that yellow means. It's the lowest level. Travel may be restricted in some areas. Now, orange is a watch only and essential travel to and from work or in an emergency that's recommended. And red, that's what we might see in the future. That's something we're watching for from state officials. Red indicates that a warning is there, meaning avoid all travel if you can. We're going to take you to Rich Knight Airport in just a minute, but before that, I do want to get you a report that's coming in to us from NDOT about black ice on I-65 as you head northwest of downtown Indianapolis, right before the Lafayette Square exit. There is a bridge there and the surface temperature is 29 degrees. Black ice has been reported there. That's within the 465 band. So, you know, we've been talking about this storm coming in from the west to the east and right now with surface temperature with black ice reported there, that is the I-65 bridge over Georgetown Road. If it's happening there, you know it's got to be happening in other areas, so please be yep. careful. Rich and I is out at the airport on the west side. Our full team come good. Full team coverage continues. Rich, we know thousands of flights have been canceled across the country. What's happening at the airport right now? Well, red is a Christmas color, right? At the airport, red is a cancellation color. And these are the departures here. Still about 20 flights to go out of Indianapolis tonight. And we have eight cancellations. Looking up at that board, you see Atlanta departure canceled. Both flights to Chicago, they're canceled. Detroit. Minneapolis, Nashville, lots of cancellations and gold. You see delays as well. And check this out tomorrow morning. Two Southwest flights already canceled tomorrow morning as well. Arrivals, we've got about 13 flights that were supposed to come in tonight. They're all canceled. The airport is busy. There are flights going out. There are flights actually going out on time. And as you can see out this way in the main, main atrium, rather, it is busy here. There are lots of people still hoping to get where they're planning to go for Christmas yet tonight, but there are a lot of cancellations and folks are going to be dealing with those travel headaches. 
Yeah, I'm going to be really disappointed, but better than being out at the airport checking your luggage and then finding out you're not going anywhere. So, uh, right. so they can plan For ahead. Sure. All right. Thanks, Rich. We'll check back later. Well, our weather coverage now is just getting started. We have getting more closing and delays that are coming in minute by minute. We are updating them continuously for you. You can find them at the bottom of your screen. We also have them posted for you alphabetically, conveniently online at WTHR.com. And we need your help. So send us your weather photos and your weather videos. You can help us tell this story and show the impact of this winter storm. Of course, always be safe when you're doing that. But we want uh, to hear from you and we want to see what's going on in your neighborhood. And we're going to be catching up and our coverage continues with Karen Campbell, who right now is out on the roads right now. You can see the conditions continue to deteriorate probably every 15, 20 minutes. I mean, this is moving fast. Temperatures are going to be dropping fast. We'll check back in with our weather team for the very latest on how the storm and how the storm will time out over the next coming hours. And don't forget to make sure that you're armed with the latest weather forecast. If you're not watching us here live online, watch on your phone. You get the latest blogs there and monitor the latest developments weatherwise right in the palm of your hand. We'll be right back.